Today is the day for kick punching. And this is like the way to make a successful product. Good afternoon morning and welcome to Turbo Tour Tech. If you're new here, I'm Reese of the Four Piece Front here, Walker Triple XL. And a secret, like very loved pastime of mine is actually Tekken. And uh, I grew up with Tekken 3. It was very current back then when I was like 12 years old. And I literally quested to buy a PlayStation 1 to play that and Grand Turismo 2. But at the arcades, which we used to have set up with things like Tekken 3, you could play on something like this. And the fact that it's literally got the exact same parts as what we had back then is just, it's flipping awesome, okay? And I tested the first version of this Ego arcade stick and this slaps like way, way harder. And this sucker has one of the best packages I've ever seen. So let's jump straight into it. What's in the box? Well, you get seemingly just a Type-C cable and another very, very long Type-A cable, which have incredibly good connections. But when you open up this sucker, inside you will find a hamper of awesome goodies. Because I think my friend summed it up best when he said, they just giving you a base platform, giving you access to absolutely everything and they like just go and play. And I think that's exactly the summation of this product. Because inside here, in this little compartment on the side, you're going to find a screwdriver and another Type-C and then two spare buttons, which you can obviously take around with you. So if one of your buttons are being a bit more sensitive than they're supposed to be, you're not going to issue then just replacing them on the go, which is kind of nice. The top deck, it has this very nice Perspex finish, which is going to obviously get scratched over time, as it should if you're playing properly, I would say. <laughs> Underneath that, you then have a customizable back plate, which you can then just print whatever you want and put whatever you want on there. The default one does have the layout assignments for the eight buttons on top, if you were to be using them from a controller, things like RT, LT and R1, L1 as an example on the right hand side, and then your default layout on the left. A little bit of an interesting design with this, they have off-centered these keys uh, for your default, uh, for your default uh, secondary D-pad function, uh, which is kind of interesting. Then up top, you have a whole bunch of added extras, including home button, which is kind of nice, which you can then reprogram and reassign. Um, there is a key lock as well on the top right, which is going to be in line with tournament regulations. So this is a tournament specific product. And in the top middle, you might notice that big square pad over there. It's a touchpad for compatibility with PS4, which is kind of sick to have. So this controller can work with PS4, Xbox One, Xbox One Series S, PC and Switch. I don't see any PS5 compatibility, but it would probably be inferred with PS4 compatibility. I'm actually not sure how that would work, to be very honest. So just check that out before you buy it for the PS5. But the overall platform and base over here with the Sanwa Denshi parts is extremely nice. And like I said, accessibility to those is just a flip away. And this has an incredibly strong hinge for that purpose. It's also been made with portability and then usage from your lap in mind with its really wide base. Uh, it is going to be easy to use it off of your lap. And it's got a really nice soft rubber pad on the bottom or a foam type pad on the bottom of it. So it's not going to eat and dig into your legs over a long usage time, which is kind of nice. They've also included on the edges over here, as you'll see on your screen now, on both sides, there is a metal prong in the mainstay of the chassis so that you can then put it on a shoulder strap. So taking it around is going to be just that much easier. And then on the right hand side is where you're going to find your connections over there. Well, left hand side if you're facing from the bottom. So you've got a type C and then a type A connection for your various console, etc., on the side over there like that. Nice handle as well over here in the middle, so you can then move around with it kind of nice and easily. And the overall presentation and build quality of this thing is serious. This weighs 3.9, nearly four kilograms. If you include the cables in there, you're gonna push four kilograms with us. So it's very nice that they did and decide to include a strap. And 
the parts quality kind of speaks for itself it is sun with denshi parts they haven't messed around and gone for flaky rubbish as um, i think a lot of the other cheaper manufacturers and stuff would go for so this thing is built for tough it is incredibly incredibly well put together and comparing this to the ego arcade stick there's absolutely no comparison over build quality and stuff the parts on those are basically exactly the same same button same joystick but overall build quality on this is just considerably better so what is it like to use too much fun is the bullet point of the presentation. My shoulder today is actually kind of sore because I sat for yesterday for about five hours playing fighting game, mostly Tekken 7. Pretty much all just Tekken 7. I love Tekken. I'm a, like I say, I'm an old Tekken boy. So yeah, we were Tekken 7 ing very, very hardcore. And I got a perfect on stream against Cowbell, get wrecked. Uh, but then my boy uh, Nassim came back uh, after I had a significant winning streak and decided to put a damp on that by getting very, very lucky with his character select and absolutely darling. Anyway, we had a lot of fun yesterday on stream. That VOD will be up for about two weeks from the publishing on this video. And I, I should have simulcast to my YouTube channel um, so that I could have a copy of it over there. And I probably will play more with this before I take it back. I have no intention of taking it back like at any type of speed because the amount of fun that you can derive from this is just astronomically high. If you are into like old school arcades and you want a platform that's never going to die, this would probably be it. The frame should be with you forever like it's super even though it's plastic finished it's super well built the hinges on this feel like they come from a flipping prison door like i say the base platform on this is so meaty and like proper it just feels good like everything about this feels tops already and then they've made the parts like easily accessible and replaceable so it's a very serious product i think it is squarely angled at tournament sort of usage but if you just want like that kind of grade of quality of product at home that you can leave on your tabletop and just have a lot of fun with then this is going to be the one for you i think and it's got turbo modes it's got the ability to switch this uh, d-pad over to it's on the d-pad mode replacement at the moment but you can have it on left or right stick over here at the top as well so it's got some some uh, functionality that you can work around and if you connect this to a pc it immediately tells you that there's an xbox controller connected and so it automatically assigns based on the xbox layout um, which is then obviously patterned over here so very very easy to use honestly and it, because it's got l3 and l3 up top and key lock and all of the little added extras it does mean that it's going to be very malleable and flexible into whatever realm you want to put it in steam big picture has natural uh, affinity with it as well so it's going to work on that to literally one for one i just literally plugged and played there's no soft accompanying software that I can see with it, but you can reprogram some of the other buttons and stuff on here. So it's nice. It's it's incredibly good base platform. The fact that it's PS4 compatible and has a touch screen on it is kind of next level. I really wasn't expecting it. I was like, what is this button up top here? This is cool. What is this for? It turns out it's touch, a touch panel for the PS4 as well. So, you know, our uh, Madcats, you've uh, officially ruined me. I really want one of these. If I was playing more fighting games and uh, if I knew that this was going to work with my retro Pi kind of system, uh, it probably will. Uh, being a normal controller, like kind of input, uh, Xbox controllers are, are compatible with a lot of like retro Pi, retro Arch uh, type of software. So you will probably be able to use it for that. And then you could play Metal Slug on here or get the GOG version or something like that. And it's just going to work right. So yeah no this is nice and man cats compared to the ego arcade stick which had like a default kind of chassis uh you know that kind of uh there were a bit dime a dozen at like 700 rand more for this it's unequivocally a sick sick product this is like one of the best follow-up products i've ever seen and the fact that it's called the te3 which which obviously is turbo tortoise tech you know t3 and t3 you can see what I've got a little bit more extra affinity to it. I love it. I, I really, really, really want one. It's one of the best that I've ever used. So, yeah. Good job, man, cats. We like it. We like it a lot. If you guys keep on with this, um, yeah, I'm going to have to like start transforming my whole desktop into man cat stuff because value from you guys at the moment is insane. Anywho, 
That is all I have for you on the TE3 arcade stick. We will be doing a couple more streams with this, so do look out for that. I'll probably simulcast to the Turbo Tortoise Tech YouTube channel so that we'll have a live demo of that left on the channel. Um, and then you guys can always go and see. I do have a top-down cam, so you can see me using it and some of my screen and stuff, so you can see the corresponding moves and sets and stuff live. Uh, not that I'm the best EU, but uh, you know, this is just... You, you, it'll, it's fun. It's a good time, so you can come and check it out. Anyway, hope you guys stay safe, keep well. If you've enjoyed this, please do hit us up with a like and subscribe, and I will see you on the flip side.